Hi, this is Zach with Warner Wound, and today I'll be reviewing the Sin 856 BR Limited Edition. This is a watch that Sin brought out at Basel World uh, 2016, which was this year's Basel that was um, actually kind of surprising, a surprising release from the brand and one that I think might have been my favorite of their releases this year, just because it was a bit of a departure for, for Sin and one that I think just ended up looking really good. So. It's based on their 856 platform, which um, is kind of a step up from the 556 in both size, but then also is a uh, ha features cases with some of Sin's uh, you know, proprietary technology, which we'll go into later. And the concept behind this watch was that it was going to, they're going to basically make it look like one of the classic B-er Flieger watches. Um, B-ers are the navigator style of uh, Flieger watches. Um, they date back actually 18th century like deck watch designs. Um, and as when we talk in the dial, they have some signature kind of elements. But what's really nice about what Sin did here, and I think what was most surprising about it perhaps, is that they really did an interesting spin on it. It's not a very uh, literal B or style watch. The elements are there, but it still feels kind of modern and kind of fun and definitely um, very Sin in flavor. Um, so it's a limited edition. It's limited to 856 pieces. It is the 856 series. It's uh, 1780 on a strap or 2090 on a bracelet. And clearly, as you can see here, the strap features a bund pad, which is part of kind of the story. We'll show you the bund pad is removable. So, um, but yeah, I mean, there is the bracelet option. Uh, yeah, so let's take a closer look now. The case of the 856 BR is the same as you'll find on every 856 watch. And as I mentioned, this is sort of a step up in Sin's line from the 556 watches. Um, so they are not only increased in size, but they include um, a few of Sin's uh, proprietary technologies, really kind of adding toughness as well as value uh, to them. So in terms of size, it's 40 millimeters in diameter, 47.5 millimeters lug to lug, and 11 millimeters uh, tall, and that's to a flat uh, sapphire crystal here. Um, that's actually a very still modest proportion, I think. Like the 5.56 eyes are smaller. They're like, uh, you know, 38, 39. 38.5 actually um, and so this is just a little bit larger gives a little bit more presence and the other watches in the a56 line are kind of a little bit bolder they're more aviator style and obviously you know this is a spin on that style for the uh, for the br um, and they didn't alter it really at all to have um, any kind of vintage feel or feel like you know Flieger watches really the limited edition you know the styling of this is all in the dial so you just have this case um, so looking at it aesthetically, you know, the design is very classic, um, you know, modern pilot design. It's very thin. It's very clean, beautifully machined, um, just nice proportions all around. And then in terms of the technology in it, the first one that you'll, you know, kind of be aware of is that it's tegumented steel. So this is Sin's proprietary hardening, hardening technology. You'll see it on a lot of their watches. Um, it uh, gives it a hardness of 1,200 Vickers, which is extremely hard. These things are very hard to scratch. I mean, uh, I've actually seen tests where you can take a piece of steel, like a spring bar tool, and rub it against these watches, and you'll get a fine powder, and it's the spring bar tool actually like eroding against the case. So they're really, really impervious to scratching, very tough. It also gives it kind of a darker gray color, and here you'll see it's been um, given a matte finish. Uh, it's a very attractive finish. I really like the look of the matte tegumented steel cases. It's definitely um, a bit tool watchish, but these are tool watches. Looking at it from a side, once again, very clean lines. This is, you know, the right side of the watch. So you have a crown here, a very large sin crown with flanked, uh, you know, flanking crown guards. It's really, it's long. Um, it doesn't bite your wrist though or anything like that. Uh, they're very easy to grasp, very easy to grip. They just screw down. One nice thing about this watch also is that it is a 200 meter water resistant. So even though it's like a Flieger style, it's not, you know, uh, uh, called a dive watch by any means, 200 meters is quite substantial, so you certainly don't have to worry about getting this thing wet or jumping, you know, in some water with. Um, it has screw, uh, drilled lugs, always love to see that, it makes um, stri uh, swapping straps uh, easier, um, and just uh, to me also it's just a nice detail for a tool watch. Looking at the other case side, you know, it's obviously plain, but then you have here uh, a thing of curiosity, and this is a copper sulfate capsule. This is a uh, proprietary SIN technology. We've seen it on several of the watches, of their watches which we have reviewed. And uh, what this does is actually remove moisture from the sort of the atmosphere within the case. 
Um, and that just leads to a longer lasting watch, longer lasting movement, uh, keeps the oils from drying out or oxidizing or whatever they do. And it's just really, you know, it's a sin, it's a sin tech that just kind of like goes towards durability. These capsules eventually need to be changed. Right now you can see this is brand new. So it's a, like a white color. It'll turn to a more pronounced blue. And that means it needs to be replaced, which is something you have to do at an authorized uh, SIN uh, service center. Looking now quickly at the case back, solid case back. Um, they make a point to actually mention on their website that it is uh, nickel free, which means that it's uh, hypoallergenic. Um, otherwise, it's very plain. Um, and this is the one thing I think like I, I would have liked to have seen uh, a little bit more happen here, being that this is a limited edition, is a BR plain something just you know something to kind of make it feel a little bit more like a special edition on the case back there's just obviously an opportunity here within the case something you can't see is that the the watches feature anti-magnetic protection um, for up to 80,000 amperes per meter so that's um, pretty significant obviously the movement is in like a soft iron cage there um, which once again just goes towards um, durability longevity uh, of the watch the dial of the 856BR is really where things depart from the uh, normal 856 series. Um, so the BR or Flieger Type B watches um, have a certain dial design and really the way you can tell them apart is that they have a um, minute track on the outside and then a smaller inner hour track which you can see represented here. Um, if you were to look at brands though that stay really true to let's say the the B-type um, Flieger watches that were from the, uh, the 30s and 40s, they'll all have a very similar design. So if it was Stoa, Archimedes, Leiko, any of those brands that really pay close attention, you'll see this really is still a departure from that aesthetic. And Sin did some really cool things here. So looking at the outer index, you have this uh, minute second index noted with a 15, 30, 45 triangle at a 12, definitely like kind of an older style triangle. Um, but what I really like that they did here that's really kind of cool is they color coded things. So they use this vintage style parchment kind of color loom, kind of has that, you know, aged radium, aged tritium look. Um, but then they used white in between those markers. So you have a two-tone dial, which already immediately is like a, a fun little play on everything. You know, obviously if this had been all loomed, you know, if it, it was really trying to mimic something that had aged, everything probably would have, you know, there wouldn't be like a solid white there. So they're making things stand out. And um, <clears throat> I really like how that looks. And then it actually has a functional effect as well. So the inner track then is this hour track and that's all in white. Um, and then you have corresponding colors for the hour and minute hand. And this, I think, is just like kind of a brilliant and fun little, you know, twist they did that really makes the thing, um, the watch unique. So the minute hand here, you know, long sword hand, classic Sin style, um, has that parchment color loom. But then the hour hand is skeletonized and inside and white. So when you're looking at this watch, you really quickly kind of see those color relationships. And then the second hand also is white and you have the individual seconds here. So, you know, that, that just works out very well. It's very attractive. Um, if you've seen the other 856 series watches, particularly 856 UTC, you'll actually see how the modern watches really relate to this style. So the 856 UTC has a 369 dial with a 24 hour inner track and a skeletonized hand there. So it's kind of a modern take on the Navigator watch. So it's kind of cool that you know, I think it's very appropriate rather that they made this watch in the 856 series. At four, you have a date window, same as you'll find on the other 856s. Um, it's pretty discreet, it's nicely positioned, so you still have the four of that inner hour track, you still have a full uh, minute marker there, um, and it's white uh, text on black, so it's not too disruptive. SIN logo at 12. Um, I've always, I, I actually quite like the SIN logo. It's kind of a handwritten signature, but it's not too kind of in your face, um, nor does it really distract from everything and then just made in Germany uh, right here below the 30. Uh, in terms of loom, the watch features loom on the parchment colored um, markers. So, you know, anything, anything on this outer index has parchment colored, but then also the hour hand and the second hand in white. None of the other white markers uh, glow, however. Uh, it's not the strongest loom because any of these kind of color, like parchment looms aren't like really that bright. It has kind of an acidic green color, um, but it is there um, and definitely will, you know, in the dark you can see the hands. One of the other signature elements of the design um, is the bun strap that comes with this if you choose the strap option versus the bracelet option. 
So uh, you can clearly see here there's a Bund pad. Uh, these relate to German military straps. There's an obvious relation here to the watch and why it would be here. It's a very intense style of strap. There's no way around that. Um, and it's certainly not one that I think, you know, everyone's going to want to wear. I like that it's part of the story of the watch and like it really, you know, has a very distinct look. And I think it's kind of, it's very cool looking like this. You know, you definitely get this, um, you know, classic feel to it. But to me, there's also more of kind of a rally feel, something off-road about it, kind of racing. It's just very, it's very aggressive, very toolish. Um, actually, you know, something that uh, Paul Newman was kind of famous for wearing his Daytonas with a bun strap, though kind of a more of a svelte style. You know, there's something definitely cool about this, though it isn't, um, you know, necessarily the way you'd want to always wear it. Conveniently, though, these bun pads uh, come off. Um, so you can remove it, which we'll, we'll show you in a second. But just actually looking at the strap, it's this nice medium tan color. It's thick. It's definitely a different style strap from most of the Sin watches we've seen. Um, it's, def it's more vintage style, more pilot style. Um, it's attractive and supple leather. Um, I like the stitching on this, wa uh, on this one. It looks um, just really good. Um, so yeah, now we'll actually show you on the wrist without the bun pad. On the wrist, uh, without the button pad, you know, the A56 wears uh, very normally. Um, it's a really nice size, 40 millimeters, 47.5 uh, there. It makes for a very comfortable size watch. Um, you know, it's a, like I said, it's a little bit larger than 556, which also works great, but this is, you know, it just has a little bit more presence, a little bit more dial to look at. Um, it's a little bit more rugged, perhaps, because of the sizing. But it's still, to me, like, it feels like a a modestly sized modern sport watch, especially for a pilot watch, as pilot watches tend to be on the larger side. Um, so it's actually, it's a fantastic size. It's very comfortable. Um, and just, you know, on my seven inch wrist, uh, looks great. Um, but then, yeah, I mean, so this is just, it's very attractive. Like I said, I mean, I really like what they did here. Uh, the coloring, the kind of use of two colors is really nice. I really like how the, the parchment loom actually looks with the darker steel from the tegumented case. Um, that all just looks great. And, you know, I think like this is just a fun uh, alternative version of the 856 for somebody who maybe wants something that's a little bit more stylish over, you know, since normal kind of more just straightforward legibility. That said, it's still very legible and it's still, you know, I mean, it's just, uh, it's just very cool uh, uh, design um, for, you know, I think as somebody who's a, I'm a fan of Flieger watches, but I actually don't really own any. I have a few different types of pilot watches. I would definitely go to this before more traditional Flieger, just because it's a little bit quirkier and a little bit uh, different. And you have just the tougher case materials. Um, so the strap now without the bun strap, the one thing, the bun strap actually adds a lot of thickness, you know, obviously to the, to the strap. So without it, it wears a little bit large. It is a straight cut strap though, so you could easily punch your own hole. Um, or if you have a larger wrist than mine, that won't be an issue. You know, here I'm on the last hole. It's a little bit looser than I would like. But obviously, you know, you can put any style of strap on here, a pass-through strap, uh, vintage style straps. Uh, they'll all look really good, um, especially because of how this mixes kind of some vintage elements with modern elements. To wrap up, the SIN 856 Beer Limited Edition um, is a really cool watch, I think. Uh, one that um, I really like that SIN brought out at Basel uh, this year. Like I said, it was a surprise and it was a very pleasant one. You know, um, SIN often just brings up, they bring out new watches, they bring out new versions of their watches, but um, a limited edition that's really kind of more style focused, a little bit more uh, adventurous, if you will, is, is just a little less common. Um, and they just did a great job with this. You know, I think there's, like I said, you know, Flieger watches are often so kind of cut and paste um, that to see one that simultaneously uh, speaks towards historical models but really doesn't look like any other watch um, is really cool. It gives this watch a very unique um, look and feel to it. Um, Price-wise, 1780. You know, it's in line with the other 856 watches. Um, you're paying for the technology of the case here, and you know, for that, if you you know, this is really a value. You aren't finding watches with hardened cases, you know, magnet, anti-magnetic cages, and all that at this price range. You know, other than by sin. Um, you know, if the strap here doesn't do it for you, that's really a very simple thing to um, you know uh, swap out yourself. Obviously. Um, but for 2090, you can get it with a tegumented bracelet, which would look, you know, frankly, very awesome on this watch. And uh, because it's tegumented, it's an incredibly durable bracelet. So that's a cool option well, as well. Only 856 of these units out there. So I imagine these aren't going to last too long. They could become a little bit collectible as far as sins go. 
Um, yeah, so if you're looking for a really different uh, Flieger watch, this is definitely one to check out. Please read the full review on Warren & Wem. Follow us on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter.